Are you ready to finish Harlow? I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie. And that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Harlow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Harlow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Harlow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. Keep an eye out. Harlow is likely around here somewhere. I sense he is close. Where is he? I do not know. You should look around. Gallable children, walk right into our trap. Ashwinders, we were right. There must be some students at Hogwarts that we could recruit. How did I get mixed up in this? Doing Rookwood's work for him. Rookwood will lead us to victory. You mark my words. Did you hear that? We'd probably have more, wouldn't we? We never have too many Not especially quiet, are you? Show yourself! I don't trust Ranrock, I'll tell you that. He'll tell on us first chance he gets. Ago, I had a brooch. Nice it was. Sparkled like the glint in my eyes when I find out which one of you thieving lot stole it. Sionai in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. 
You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Hmm.
Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine. And it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days, but Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts, everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. Rebellion. What sort of world are we in where children so much? What are you doing with a sheep? You can't bring a sheep into so oh, sure it was you. Out! Right now! Rebellion.
Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion. What are you up to now? Rebellion.
Revelion. Rebellion. And you say they made it after you placed the Moonstone? Do you know why, or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the Mooncast dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. Rebellion. You said you divined a series of events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. I believe now that you are the strangers, the poachers are the enemy, and the old friends are the Snidgets. I also saw two places tied to these events. The cave with the moonstone and the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. What makes you so sure the symbol is where the Snidgets are? I do not know. It is what I have read in the stars. Fortunes play out as they are intended. I am merely a messenger. I shall say that fortune favors us today. That you would show me a symbol whose provenance I recognize is not coincidence, but fate. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again.
I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Of course, Doran implied as much, but to see it up there. Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Can you believe it? Actual Snidgets. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Gran's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It is as important to what happens next, as both of you are. So, what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. <laughs> Perhaps it has to do with the light and the darkness. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. At least for a time. You're not coming in with us. If the Snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. Elec especially. Go on without me. I will rejoin as soon as I am able. Rebellion. 
Look at the murals on the wall. They're all creatures. This place must have been built to protect them. They have nothing to fear. Good for you. What makes you say that? The poacher camps always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. So many books. You haven't seen my grand study. Rebellion. Rebellion. Arrest on the left. Lumos. Lumos. Confringo. Rebellion. <laughs> Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your gran would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. I'll wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be, but how to get through? Be 
Leviosa. Good finger. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Rebellion. Look at this place. Little puppy sweeting. Forgot how to cover your track. What was that? Not dog. Let me open. I'm sending a target from here today. Back for more. Shall we finish what we started? The last and stupid Two of you unharmed. I had hoped to return before it was too late. We're fine, but if you hadn't got here when you did... Revelio. I led them here, Doran. You fought with us against your kind. I am glad to have accomplished this. I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. is to break the charm. You want us to...
I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are, you should do it. and surely once word gets out of their reappearance... <sighs> no harm will come to them. The centaurs will see to that. You have my word. Thank you, Doran, for helping us to find them and to fight for them. It is you who deserves the merit, child. You did what the poachers would never have. Remember that. You both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. Rebellion. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. No.
Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Alohomora. Alohomora. Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion.
Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I think that's where we're going to end it. Um, finished the game, finished almost all of the other quests, so it's a good place to end. Um, I'll come back and try to finish up a few uh, things, uh, get all the field guides. But thanks so much for uh, joining me. If you like this series, make sure you subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time on the next game. I think we'll be playing uh, Jedi Survivor, which will be really fun. That's one of my favorite series. But thanks for being here. It was a great ending to the game. I really liked it. I might do a review if you guys are interested. But yeah, make sure you comment and like below. And we'll see you next time. Bye.